Hello friends, uh, let us start with the second part of your uh, unit number 3 that is tax invoice under GST. Here we are going to learn about the tax invoices, bill of supply and uh, debit note and credit notes. Let us start with the tax invoice. What is an invoice? An invoice or a bill is a list of goods sent or services provided along with the amount due for payment. So what is an invoice? It is a bill or list of goods sent, okay, that is the particulars of uh, supplies which is given in that bill, okay. Tax invoice is standard format invoice required under GST system, okay. Stag tax invoice is required in the standard format, okay. You cannot make it uh, according to your convenience, no. GST requires that the tax invoice or bill of supply these two are different things okay tax invoice and bill of supply what is this bill of supply we'll see it later to be issued before or on the occurrence of certain event or within a prescribed time therefore an invoice is required for every other form of supply understanding so what this point says is that tax invoice or bill of supply is to be issued before or on the time of supply okay after the time of supply you cannot issue an invoice if you even if you issue the invoice or bill of supply that will be standing invalid next a tax invoice is the primary evidence to support an input tax credit claim and also it is the primary evidence that the uh, that you can say that there has been a transaction happening in your organization or in your enterprise so tax invoice is the evidence that yes that transaction has happened okay so this is the standard tax invoice it has everything the name of uh, the invoice maker okay and all other details i will zoom this and let us learn it properly this is shri ganesh catering services gst in number of this person this registered person is given here okay and the state is andhra pradesh 37 is the code of andhra pradesh karnataka karnataka's code is 29 and here is the pan number which is given of this uh, enterprise okay and then the customer name is given customer GSTI number is not given it means that the customer is unregistered person this Kabir dwellers Andhra Pradesh this person is unregistered person and therefore GSTI number is not given over here okay so this is billing address and this is shipping address please note that billing address and shipping address are same okay kabir jewelers kabir jewelers it means that the same person is paying and the same person is receiving if billing address and shipping address are different that will be a bill to ship to transaction right and there are these details total uh, this is not needed total over here but invoice date is very very essential and then invoice number is very very essential okay this this has to be unique number invoice number and then the reference number what do you mean by this reference number see invoice can be sent before or during the time of supply there can be a debit note or credit note issued and such debit note or credit note can be issued with this reference number invoices or, or they can also use this invoice number as the reference number or there can be two invoices first invoice and second invoice in such cases this reference number is used hope you are understand this point okay this uh, invoice this invoice which you are seeing okay this invoice can be the primary invoice and secondary invoice can be sent after the reference number uh, is given over the first invoice hope this is clear okay and then what is given here con country of supply is india this is required because if you are uh, supplying or is if you are exporting then your uh, 
IGST is applicable and there are many other things okay uh, the country of supply means destination country is given over here place of supply is Andhra Pradesh that is the state state name is enough over here and then the due date for the payment due date for whatever is the total whatever is this total 4970 uh, that should be paid within this date okay this is old invoice but uh, this is the standard format that is why i have copied okay these are the items look at this format item it means this is the particular then hsn number that is harmonized system nomenclature or <coughs> service accounting code sorry service accounting code that is sec number and then quantity how much quantity has been sent and what is the rate okay per item and then discount if anything is allowed because this discount has to be shown over here because you, we have learned that discount can be given only within the uh, date within the time of supply okay and then the taxable value okay this quantity number quantity into rate minus discount is this taxable value and then uh, cgst and sgst or utgst why CGST, SGST is given? Why not IGST is given? Please look at this point. The supplier is from Andhra Pradesh and receiver is also from the Andhra Pradesh. It means there is the same state and therefore CGST, SGST is applicable. Okay. This is how it is shown at the rate 6%, 6%, 6%, 6, 6, 2.5, 2.5. This has to be same equally. Okay. Any says, no says is applicable and the total is given let us see these items hope you have understood these uh, uh, these heads dry fruits pack and freight to add 12 percent to send this dry fruit pack and then uh, saffron is also given and the freight is given okay if you look at this hsn number of this dry fruits pack is given and then uh, saffron is given nine zero nine one zero is the hsn code for the saffron and freight for this saffron is given if you closely look at this point freight there is no hsn code given freight there is no hsn code is given it is because this freight services has been utilized from some other supplier and dry fruits is supplied using this freight so what is the principal uh, principal supply okay uh, in uh, previous semester you have learned the different types of supplies there you have learned the composite supply this is an example of composite supply this is the principal supply and this is additional or subsidiary supply and therefore hsn number of this is given and not hsn number of this is given hope this is clear okay and quantity 200 quantity is allowed rate zero Oh my god why rate is given zero over here and taxable value is also here zero here and what about uh, saffron saffron uh, five quantity has been uh, ordered and the rate is 800 per item total is 4000 this is fine and freight 500 freight 200 that all is fine but why this item why rate per item is zero there can be a case where what I think is that, what I suppose, assume is that this rate can be uh, sent or let us assume that this Kabir jeweler has already paid, already paid for this uh, item and therefore rate is showing zero over here. This can be done manually. Okay, no discounts and why taxable supply is zero? Let us see what this hsn number says and what is the tax rate for this uh, dry fruits pack i will uh, i have already put this hsn number in the google i will show you that here see hsn number 0813100 the same i have put 0813100 same is given here and uh, there is this uh, hsn code this website getatos.com and it says the policy as free okay 081 000 apricots or dried fruits this one says that the policy is free it means uh, the tax rate 
is not given over here and therefore taxable value uh, will become zero so this is clear and then cgst sgst will also become zero because taxable value is zero right and total will be also zero now look at uh, the second point 500 rupees at six percent that is 30 rupees 30 rupees and total 560 is payable right 500 that is taxable value plus taxes 30 30 that is 60 4000 100 100 and 4200 200 5 5 rupees 210 rupees hope uh, this is understood now look at this point taxable amount is 4970 which is given over here that is total uh, value of supply is 4700 and the total tax payable is uh, 270 rupees so 4970 rupees which is also given in the words an authorized signatory part is given here they will sign and give the signature this is how the tax invoice looks like the standard tax invoice hope this is clear now bill of supply so hope this is clear this is invoice and this is bill of supply both are different things a supplier supplying exempted goods or service or a supplier who has opted for composition levy scheme has to issue a bill of supply instead of tax invoice it means if there is one person who is not registered in business in GST then he can issue the bill of supply or such person who has opted composition levy okay composition scheme then such person has to supply the bill of supply and not the tax invoice and therefore bill of supply is not eligible for claiming input tax credits because they are not registered or because they are the composition scheme dealers okay and tax invoice or bill of supply there is a difference okay this is the difference who will who will issue this tax invoice and bill of supply tax invoice will be uh, supplied by the taxable supplier who is a taxable supplier who is registered in the gst okay and for such uh, things which are taxable goods and taxable services but in this case uh, bill of supply supplier of exempt goods or services or the composition dealer can issue the bill of supply hope this is clear any such person who is not registered in business can also supply through bill of supply understood next when need not be issued need not issue a tax invoice if the value of the goods or services supplied is less than rupees 200 if uh, there is uh, such transaction where the transaction value is less than 200 rupees you need not need not issue the tax invoice okay and recipient is unregistered and if the recipient is also unregistered these two conditions then only tax invoice need not be issued but need to prepare one aggregate invoice for each day for each day one aggregate invoice has to be made okay it is as good as your daily account day account or sales account cash account whatever you say bill of supply need not issue issue a bill of supply if the value of the goods or services supplied is less than rupees 200 okay but need to prepare one aggregate bill of supply for each day this has to be done can you claim input tax credit yes tax input tax credit can be claimed on tax invoices but input tax credit itc cannot be claimed on bill of supply because they are either supplying exempt goods or composition dealer or unregistered person okay that is the difference between uh, tax invoice and bill of supply this can be asked for five marks in the examination and these are the contents of uh, tax invoice name and address and gsti and number of supplier date of issue of the invoice hsn code or hs sac code tax invoice number unique for each invoice this tax invoice number has to be given uh, hope uh, you remember this point tax invoice number this is invoice number okay next description of goods or services item or particulars uh, column then total value of supply is required applicable rate of gst is required taxable value of supply after adjusting any discount is also required amount of tax quality of goods or uh, 
sorry this is quantity of goods and units are required then place of supply and name of a destination state for interstate sales and then signature or digital signature of the supplier or his authorized representative is required delivery address that is the shipping address if it is different from the place of supply that is billing address then whether the gst is payable on reverse charge basis that is required if the recipient is not registered and the value is more than five fifty thousand rupees then the invoice should carry name and address of the recipient along with the address of delivery with the state name and state code what happens here is that if the recipient is not is not registered in the gst and the total transaction value is more than fifty thousand rupees then the invoice should carry the name and address of the recipient it is the must and also the state name and state code is required okay if the buyer or recipient is registered then the name and address and gst and number of the recipient is also required here these are these are the required things in the tax invoices this can be asked for 15 marks each one each point carries one mark now bill of supply what are the contents there are only these many contents bill of supply referred to in gst act has to be issued by the supplier containing the below details name and address and gst and number of the supplier date of its issue hsn code of the goods or accounting code for services and then description of goods or services or both and then consecutive or serial number in one or multiple series containing alphabets or numerals or special characters hyphen or dash and slash symbolized as dash okay this this is the slash and this respectively and any combination thereof unique for each financial year what they say here is that in this point bill of supply will also carry the serial number and serial number can include hyphen dash or slash then name and address of GSCI number or UIN number okay what is this UIN unique identity number if registered to the recipient and value of supply of goods or services are both taking into account the discount and abatement if any signature or digital signature of the supplier or his authorized representative these many are the bill of supply requirements or contents please uh, remember only this can be asked for 15 marks or this and this both can be asked for 15 marks only this can be asked for 5 marks is it clear now manner of issuing invoice how do you issue the invoice invoice should be in the triplicate it means three copies has to be made one original should be given to the recipient duplicate copy should be given for the transporter if you are using the transporter if there is no transporter then only two copies can be made triplicate for the supplier hope this is clear why transporter duplicate copy because uh, there is something called as e-way bill we'll see what is what it is later but transporter uh, must have the duplicate copy of it the invoice shall be prepared in duplicate in case of uh, whatever uh, possible manner where the transporter is not given okay it means original for the recipient duplicate for the supplier this is what uh, is the given over here in case of services only two in case of uh, goods there are three because you cannot transport the service okay next export invoice export invoice means the sub the must have words is supply meant for export on payment of igst these words has to be given in the export invoice okay igst has to be paid or there is another method by uh, use by using the bill of lading okay supply meant for export under the bond or without the payment of igst so there are these two methods of uh, uh, payment of export duty or exporting the goods let us say name and address of the recipient delivery address should be given delivery address whichever is the country and then the number and date of are okay application reference number application for removal of goods for export that is the are number are one this is uh, uh, required under the export invoices what is the time limit 
for the goods in normal case on or before the date or removal of the uh, or removal or the delivery time of supply is on or before the date please remember only this much for continuous supply on or before the date of issue of account what do you what do you mean by continuous supply supply through pipelines cables wires like that like uh, your electricity electricity is the continuous supply water is the elect is the continuous supply and uh, cable and uh, landline telecommunication right all these are continuous supplies on or before the date of issue of account payment or statement for services in general case uh, within 30 days of supply of services is the date or uh, for services in case of banks and nbfcs within 45 days of supply of services that is the time limit to issue invoices there are these many types of invoices aggregate invoice and then a sale on approval basis supplementary invoice revised invoice these many things we will see in the next uh, video until then take care if you have any doubts and clarifications please comment below okay we have seen these many things more, more importantly the contents of tax invoice and uh, bill of supply the difference between tax invoice and bill of supply okay and the format of bill of supply this is what we have seen see you in next uh, video thank you